It's running day and I have a couple of bonus automations to show you when I get back. difficult. One of those bonus automations are running right now. So when I disconnect my workout headphones, when I come back from a run, the AC in my house automatically starts running. So I don't even have to mess with the thermostat when I come back from a run. And you might be like, Reed, it's October. Why are you turning on the AC? It's Arizona and it's almost a hundred degrees this week. It's so hot. But the automations don't stop there. So after I've cooled down and I'm about to jump in the shower, all I have to do is turn on the shower light, which runs all my shower automations, but it also turns the air down in the main area back to normal. It's great. Bluetooth for home automation is actually really useful. If you watch the main channel video, you probably saw that I use these open ear headphones to trigger a workout automation. And if you've never used open ear headphones, I highly recommend them. These things are awesome. I got them about a couple months ago and they're super comfortable when you're on a run and you can hear cars and everything around you. So yeah, I love these things, but there's a lot of use cases to use Bluetooth with home automation. Maybe you run some backyard automations when you connect to an outdoor Bluetooth speaker or when you connect to the Bluetooth in your car, the automation can switch over from music to the podcast that you're listening to. And then when you get in your car, when you're done with work, it can get your smart home ready for when you get home. Or if you work from home and you connect to some Bluetooth noise canceling headphones, it can automatically turn on a light outside your office to let your family know, hey, I still love you, but I'm not gonna be able to hear you if you're talking to me outside my door. To run these Bluetooth automations, you can use both Android and iOS. And if you're using Android, I probably recommend Tasker. And if you're using iOS, definitely Apple Shortcuts. And since I'm using an iPhone, I'm using Apple Shortcuts. So to set up one of these Bluetooth automations using Apple Shortcuts, it's not too difficult. Go to the Shortcuts app and select Automations down at the bottom. And then for the trigger, you're gonna select Bluetooth, and then you can choose the device that you wanna to connect to, so it can be a specific headphones or whatever. And then you say is connected or is disconnected, and then make sure you select run immediately, that way it just runs and you don't have to click anything on your phone. Now, if you only want it to run at a certain time, which I highly recommend, that way you know if you're commuting to work or if you're coming home, it can be a lot more accurate. Apple makes this difficult. So the way you do it is you get current date and then you get the numbers from the date because we want the hours of the date time. And so you select date and then you do custom and you select HH, those are the hours. And then you do an if statement and it auto fills with numbers, which is nice. Those are the numbers from the date. And then you say is between and I chose six to eight. Now be careful, this is not 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. This is 6 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. because that is still the eight hour. Watch out for that. And then in that if statement, run your automation. Then it's really simple to add actions like starting up a workout activity on your Apple Watch. And I know Apple's walled garden gets a lot of flack and rightfully so, but when you're running automations like these, like starting up a workout activity on your Apple Watch, they make it so easy. Now playing Spotify with an Apple shortcut, that's more tricky. Apple did push an update recently with Spotify on the HomePods, and now you can use your voice to play Spotify on them because it will airplay from your phone. And what's really convenient is if I use my voice to play Spotify, it will play from my phone. But if my wife does a voice command, it will play Spotify from her phone. So we're not hijacking each other's Spotify sessions but this still doesn't solve the problem with shortcuts. So the way that I got around it is using Home Assistant and Home Assistant is always there to save me, to help connect things that normally you cannot connect. And so what I do is I have my Home Assistant connected to Spotify and then in the Apple shortcuts, I fire an event, a Home Assistant event that triggers an automation in Home Assistant. And this sounds kind of complicated, but it's really, really easy. You just do fire event with Home Assistant. You give it a little name that's unique. And then in Home Assistant, you have the trigger be an event, a manual event, 
with that same name and then it will trigger the event in home assistant i just have it play my workout spotify playlist or whatever i want now i do have one more action just to like make sure it starts playing on my phone the apple shortcut switches to the spotify app and then does a play media on my phone kind of a hackish way to do it but hey it works now i know these are a little different uh, i normally make one video covering all the automations or whatever or make an article so hopefully you guys like this i'm going to be trying to upload every single day on this second channel to explain all the different automations and i have so many updates to share with you with my smart like i've been making tons of changes so make sure you hit that subscribe and bell notification thanks for watching